YouTube, Creepasaur from Creepasaur Inc. here, and today I'm back again for you guys for some awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! content. And I wouldn't have known about this card, Nirvana High Paladin, which is what we're going to be discussing today. If it weren't for yu gi -Bot, so definitely go check him out in the description below. So, he also puts in some really awesome stuff, but he hasn't put up anything lately because he's been really busy. A lot of stuff's been going on. So let's get back into this card, I'm not going to get into too, too into detail about things that I don't really have to discuss. But anyway, let's get right into this discussion. So first off, he is a dark type spellcaster synchro pendulum effect level 10 scale 8 33 2500 body materials one tuner plus one or more non tuner uh, synchro monsters uh, he also has a continuous trigger condition trigger and trigger so this guy is the first pendulum synchro ever in the game and pr frankly he is one of the, has one of the most ridiculous effects not only pendulum but monster effects I have ever read in the game sorry my ring is making noises let's just get back in this guy's effect because it's one of the most ridiculous things I've ever read uh, frankly I haven't really read it all that much what, the little I've read from what my t uh, what Yugi bot told me it is one of the most broken cards I have ever read in my life it could potentially break the game uh, if there are players out there thinking like figure out how to turbo this card which wouldn't be s too surprising. So first off, we got Pendulum Effect, is if a Pendulum Monster you control attacks, it cannot be destroyed by that battle. Also, you take no ba battle damage from that attack. At the end of the battle damage step, if a Pendulum Monster you control attack, all monsters your opponent currently controls lose attack equal to that monster's current attack until the end of this turn, even if this card leaves the field. So it's like, you attack with a Pendulum Monster, boom, lose attack, and then when you come back later with bigger monsters, he's going to lose even more attack. So that's a really, really ridiculous effect. Particularly for a pendulum effect. Like, it's kind of like an honest kind of thing going on, but in the pendulum zone. So even if it does leave the field, that is permanent. It's really, really ridiculous when you look at it. Next up, we got the monster effect, which is the most ridiculous one that I really feel. The pendulum effect is kind of, you know, subpar, but when you look at it, it's actually kind of ridiculous. I know I'm kind of contradicting myself, but when you really look at this effect... Both of them are game-breaking when you really think about it, because these things, one, it does not target at all. So that is one of the biggest things in this game right now. If you target anything, you're kind of putting yourself in a bad place. So uh, when you have the ability not to target something, that, that gets around a lot of the effects of the game right now. So when you do that, losing attack on, say, an Ignister, and then coming back and just getting rid of one of the biggest cards in the game right now, which has, again, another non-targeting effect, is a very big thing to do. So, let's just get into his monster effect. It's one tuner, again, plus one or more non-tuner synchro monsters. So, he's not generic, so you need to have a synchro monster on board. Or, you know, turbo this thing any way you possibly can using, you know, a synchro deck thing. Whatever you can possibly think of to get this ridiculous card on the field. So, first off, we got, for this card, synchro summon. You can treat one pendulum summon, pendulum monster you control as the tuner so you don't even actually need a tuner on board it can turn a regular monster that is a pendulum into a tuner monster for you so say you just pendulum out a whole bunch of different monsters and you just happen to have one left over you can make this card just right then and there if you have the materials which seems like it's not too hard to do because you can make your own tuners you don't even need to run tuners anymore if this card is synchro summon using a pendulum summon monster monsters at a uh, pendulum monster as the tuner you can target one card in your graveyard add it to your hand when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle you can have your opponent's uh, life points if this card in the monster zone is destroyed by battle or by card, card effect you can place this card in your pendulum zone so obviously you would want to get this card on field first and then let it get destroyed or if it does get destroyed, you can put it in your pendulum effect so you can keep cycling it. Because even if it does get destroyed in the pendulum zone, you can pendulum back out with another card if you have the scale. Which I wouldn't be surprised if you're making a deck to make this card. Next up, we got, well, previously in the effect, what we had was you can target one card in your graveyard, add it to your hand. It does not specify if it has to be a Nirvana card, so it's not going to be like an archetype specific kind of thing. So any card that you really need, you can recycle. So it's like... A Digusta Emerald, but you get to use it when you get it. So it's like, let me get this card that I need back to my hand, and even if it does doesn't say uh, once per turn, like you know how Tenacity works, you can activate it as soon as you put it back in your hand. So say you can Regeki again. That is a ridiculous effect. So potentially you can have four copies of a card because that's a you can play three uh, copies of a card in a deck, 
So potentially, when you think about it, you can play uh, a fourth copy of a card, or a third copy if it's semi-limited, or two copies if the card is limited. That is a very good effect, because it's one doesn't specify if it's an archetype or not, and you can add any card that you want, which is one of the best effects in the game, even if it isn't released right now. Making this one of the most potentially dangerous cards in the game, because one, it's a 3300 body, it recycles itself, and recycles other cards in the grave. Also, did you not see the effect that says you can have your opponent's life points when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle? So, think about it. You recycle everything, you recycle this card, you recycle stuff out of your graveyard, and your opponent goes from 8,000 to 4,000 in a turn as long as you destroy one of their weakest monsters on board. So this card potentially makes this game more, if you're playing it, it makes this game very easy for you, because you can just recycle this card over and over again, and then just drop your opponent's life points and make big OTKs in a matter of, what, two or three turns, as most synchro decks do when they put out a whole bunch of crazy, crazy combos. So I can't wait for this card to come in the game to see what it really does, if they're going to nerf the effect, because I have not seen anything about this card other than uh, what has been seen, uh, this card, what it looks like, the Japanese text, and how it's going to look when it comes out to us. But really, when this card comes out, I feel like it's going to be very game-breaking, because the ability to just cycle everything that you want from your deck, especially itself, if you're playing a Pendulum version of like a Synchro build, or make a deck specifically to make this card. Like, I I don't know how I feel about this card. Uh, it's gonna be either broken or broken. Uh, and if it's broken, then we're gonna it's obviously gonna get limited. I see this card getting limited as soon as it hits the field, uh, the playing field in terms of when it comes to us in the TCG. I don't know what they're gonna be doing over in the OCG, but frankly, it's either I want I real I'm hyped for this card and I'm not hyped for this card because there there are two sides to this card. There is the fact that I I can see myself just I want to own it. I don't want to play this card at all. This card is way too OP, it's way too mean of a card to play against someone, so I don't see myself playing this card at all, but I personally want to own it, I want to see the card, uh, I want to see it get played, but I don't want to see it get played, if you guys really understand what I'm go going for here. But uh, anyway guys, tell me what you guys think in the comment section below, personally I, c I think this card could be game breaking, uh, it could potentially be a very broken card if people can turbo it out. Uh, but I really want to hear you guys' feedback in the comment section below, so I really understand what you guys are thinking, uh, if you guys are liking more of these discussions, because I've seen, uh, the trend that you guys like more of my discussions than most of my other videos, uh, but I've been having a lot of fun making these discussion videos because there's so much stuff coming out, uh, and a lot of the changes in the way Konami is, uh, handling itself and the way it's going to be handling the TCG and the OCG, so I'm really excited to see what they come out with in the next coming weeks and months. Um, and in the next coming year because we're coming up on a lot of new stuff in this year So anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video If you liked it, hit that like button as far as you can and subscribe to my channel for more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh content and as always hope you enjoyed